hello there guys welcome back to the channel today we have another is it worth it video and in the spotlight today is a budget bait boat this boat was purchased by a friend of mine and he got it for the humble price of 88 pounds off amazon i saw the bait boat up the lake and i was very impressed so i asked if i could borrow it for the evening to drive it around my garden pond and see how she handled the boat is powered by two propellers at the back unlike the traditional jet system that you see in other bait boats. It features a metal carry handle which is also foldable for easy access to getting it in and out of the water. The hopper system is a little bit different on this bait boat, it sort of flings the rig and bait backwards and as you can see here the hopper is held on by two metal hinges, circled in red is a pin that's actually come loose but this could be an easy fix with a pair of pliers or maybe a little bit of glue. Hopper on this bait boat is reset manually just by pulling the hopper back, compressing the springs underneath and pushing the catch into place. This is what the boat looks like once the hopper has been released and overall I think it has quite a nice look considering the price. The bait boat is powered on just by the simple flick of a switch and you also have a battery indication with four bars on the side of the boat. The remote is extremely simple in design, very small minimal controls one massive positive from this is one hand use the hopper is released just by a simple click left on this pad and you have a self-drive option on the top trigger and a very simple on and off switch on the side the one hand control on this remote is very good it allows you to have the rod in one hand straighten in the line and you're also able to feel the lead down the boat has a built-in rechargeable battery and you were also supplied with a charger. The remote takes two AAA batteries and is non-rechargeable. The battery life was very decent, seeing my friend use it up the lake and experimenting in the garden, the battery didn't drop at all, four bars still displayed on the side. The boat has a claim range of 500 meters. This isn't something we was able to test, but for short range work, tucking your rig under snags or driving it to them hard to reach spots is absolutely perfect. The hopper can hold one kilo of damp bait, but this slowed down the flip considerably and we found the best results was to half fill the hopper, drop your rig in and you didn't have too much problems. Here's a prime example of the one hand use. As Adam's two three foot from where he wants to drop his rig, he's just flipped his bail arm closed, allowing the line to tighten up gently and he just presses left on that pad, dropping the rig. As you can see here, the hopper flips backwards dropping the bait and the rig and it all goes down nice on a tight line. He quickly turns the boat round, engages the self-drive option with the trigger on the remote. While he's sinking his line, the boat will drive back towards the swim. He just picks up the remote and steers it back into the peg. Last important thing to mention, the boat does have two LED lights at the front as like headlights and two blue LED lights at the rear. That brings this quick review to a finish and if you'd like to look at this boat I'll put some links in the description. Thank you for watching this second video in the is it worth it section and if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe. See you next time.